What's up, everybody? I'm Richard. And I'm Sean. And we are speaking the language of bromance. And today, Sean, today we're going to talk about what I want to dream, what I aspire to be. What my what my dream is to be when I am an old man. What's that, Richard? What do you want to be when you grow up? That's the key. Uh, one life. of the best things ever. One of one of the two best things ever. I mean, I could be the other thing. I could be the other thing right now, Sean. Sean, I could be a pirate. Uh, it's true. I could be a pirate right now for a day. <laughs> I could go get myself a boat. Yeah, you're close to a river. Just jump on the river. You'd be a river pirate. I could go get a boat. Yeah, I get on the boat. You get a first rob mate people that you're awkwardly homoerotically attracted to. Yeah, not pirates. Pirates weren't like that, Sean. They mm. were, they were manly men. They wore big baggy clothes. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. I, I could, could be see a pirate. That wrong. I'm just saying I could be a pirate. You got a poop deck. I think I'd be a great pirate. Would you really want to be a pirate? I like that we're going down this road because it's always the big tale of pirate versus ninja. I'm always more ninja. You're always more pirate. Yeah, I'd love to be a pirate. Why? You're What's, out of sea? Tell me the bad things. Tell me the bad things. Uh, and I will rationalize how they're not that bad. You're out at sea, long periods of time, uh, krakens, uh, scurvy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One thing at a time. Okay. Out at sea for long periods of time. Sean, like... What's the difference between that and going to work? Uh, well, A, that would go be the next thing. There's no Krakens. I mean, and if you're like, uh, Krakens aren't real, I'm like, okay, giant sea creatures, those are real. And giant you wanna- sea creatures are real. But the but I would say the statistically I would be more likely to be crushed by a vending machine than I would to be taken by a by a sea monster and and those numbers let's those numbers think about this change. sean if i was if i was killed by a sea monster then it'd be all over the news it'd be like oh my god sea monsters are real look at ate this dude no not if you're a pirate because they're like oh great another pirate's gone let's not talk about this because then a bunch of crazy hill people are going to go out and try to kill this giant sea creature and Richard, those numbers you talked about about the vending machine those change drastically if you spend more than eight hours in C than we do right now. I spent a ton of time in front of those vending machines thinking, oh my God, please fall over and crush me to death. <laughs> I rock it and rock it and nothing <laughs> happens. All I get is a free Coke. <laughs> scurvy. So, you got scurvy? Let's just bring some oranges with me. Uh, what's the other thing? I had another good one. Oh, storms. There's just a hurricane that came through, Richard. What about those storms or those big waves that crashed down? Would you want to float in the ocean all by yourself? Because you're not going to make it. I wouldn't be by my... Why would I be by myself? I thought you were going to be with me. God, no. If you're like, hey, Sean... You just said you'd be my first mate. No, because I said homoerotic? No, I'm not going to be your first mate. I don't want to be a pirate. My well, fear I'm not going o- out there by myself. Do you think my fear? How am I going to rob? How am I going <laughs> to rob a boat if it's just me? You're going to show up like, be like one hey. guy in a little rowboat, like <laughs> goes up to a fucking cruise ship. It's like, all right, everybody, valuables on the blanket. Oh That's God, not gonna work. You better do it. He's There's got a 50 boat of them. Full They're of- like, you know, we could just. Yeah, they're like, you know, we could just rush this guy and just knock him over the side of the boat. Listen, I didn't want to say it out loud, but he kept pulling a bunch of cardboard cutouts saying those were his his uh, pirate mates. I'm yeah. pretty sure this dude's just loony. And the cardboard's soaking wet, so they just keep, <laughs> like, falling over. Listen, can we he, just give him some He's saying it's stuff? because of the scurvy. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think he knows math. <laughs> can we I don't just, think you understand how cardboard works. <laughs> can we just I feel kind of bad for it. Can we just give him some stuff? Like you're doing a great job, pirate. Oh, I am yeah. doing a great job. Where's your closest vending machine? <laughs> Name me a pirate ship that has one pirate on it that was successful. You can't. You know why? Because it doesn't happen. 
need uh, a crew because it's the if best you're not going to be my crew, then I can't be a pirate. Yeah, I think mo- aren't most pirates just like in like speedboats, like six to a boat, in like Somalia, like the Somali pirates. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, are there like any? Yeah, like- see, even little tiny speedboat, they got they got six people. Yeah, because like they that's rushed, they rush the they rush those ships that don't have any like protection. Yeah, like, see, that's the thing. But Luke even then, see, even if they have this really fast moving boat, they're still like, hey, we still need some more people in here because obviously we can't be a pirate. We can't be a pirate boat of just one. Like even it doesn't matter how fast this fucking speedboat is. It's not going to work if there's just one of us. Do you think there's still like an old age pirate out there that's still got like the old wind sails boat that's still out there? And they're trying oh to catch God. up to like... I- I so wish. I yeah. wish there was. Like, iron matey. Like, so much. Like, they're like legit pirate. They still have like the black powder guns and the swords. Oh, the that'd be awesome. A blunderbuss. That's what it's called. The cannon? A blunder. No, not the cannon, the, little, the handheld things. Oh, yeah. The, the one shot pistol. Yeah, the blunderbuss. Ugh, pirates, Richard. But I, I watched be the thing. Scene. That could, that thing, those, those guns. Can like pen that those things can penetrate armor? Oh, really? Up closer? Yeah, hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, they are like a legit little hand cannon. I mean, like they they had a they they put it like like plates like an armor like an armor like say like a knight so like plate steel and fucking shot a shot right the fuck through it. Don't mess with the pirate and his gun. He's got to dodge the one bullet though. How are they on sword fighting though? I feel like they were probably like. I guess it'd been more like fencing I would think sword that, fighting. No, nah, well, I don't know. No, because they had a cutlass, which was, mm. you know, basically like a katana. Oh uh, yeah, probably what, uh, a little meteor. I know they used to do on like Discovery. They had like uh, battles of where it was like you know, this oh type yeah, of thing yeah, this type of thing. Didn't they do a pirate versus ninja? I think they did pirate versus ninja, and actually, I think the pirate won. Because of the gun, I think, right? I think so, yeah. And I don't think they took into the sneak ability of ninjas too much. Like, as much as they should have. Mm. So, okay. So, apparently now, since nobody wants to fucking be on my boat. Nope. Even though those people shall remain nameless. Sean. Uh, I guess now I have to be, I have to be a ninja. <gasps> but, there's hope. There's hope because I could be an old ninja. And apparently, uh, oh, so number one, I could be a ninja because ninjas are by themselves. That's true. I don't need, I don't, I don't need any help. I don't need you to be a ninja, Sean. I don't need you to be around. I'd be a ninja with you, though. We could start our own clan. We could call it. No, no, you don't want to be. a No, I'm not. No, I'm not joining. No, clan. Because you don't want to be a pirate. So now you can't be. We can't have a ninja clan. I don't want scurvy. Eat an orange. I don't like oranges. It hurts you my tongue. You don't like oranges? No, I do. I don't get, really. Get the little vitamin C things. Oh, it's true. We could just take a bunch of vitamin C. Like, we'll order a case. Yeah. Of, they're like, what are you doing? Fighting scurvy. <laughs> Fighting scurvy? I mean, duh. Wait, did you say scurvy or scurvy? Uh, Both? Give us all your money. <laughs> <laughs> Lay him on the blanket. I am the yeah. captain now. If you ask, it was the bro Ritz. Get it, bro yeah. Ritz? Yeah. So, yeah, I could be an old ninja. And here's proof that I could be an old ninja. Ray, Japanese police arrest a 74-year-old ninja. What year was this article? 2017. Whoa. Okay, so, damn, do the math. 2017 minus 74. Born in 1943. So right so right before the end of World War II. Yeah. Yeah. So you heard this little born? boy was like, I'm going to grow up and be a ninja. And guess what, Sean? He did. All right. So like when I think of ninja, I think of like assassin, you know. Yeah. Evildoer to an extent. What was this guy doing as a ninja? Like, is it one of those things where it's like, I'm trained in karate, but you got your karate black belt from like, you know. Karate RS, or they don't really teach you karate. <laughs> Did he go to like Ninja got, RS school? 
Or did, like Cobra it, Kai. <laughs> well, Cobra Kai was legit. They're like, sweep the legs, Donnie. <laughs> but like, um, okay, so so you're asking if he was like a Kmart ninja? If yeah, he just I mean, like bought a like, costume at Kmart and then like, went to the Y and took some karate classes yeah. and you know, was like, oh, I'm 74, I'll be a ninja. You like when No, you talk, Sean, I don't think that's what happened. You talk with that one weird uncle and you're like, hey, what'd you do when you were young? He's like, I used to run liquor. Like, you were... You had a moonshine business? And you look, and he was just a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ran it through my system. That's what I, that's what I meant. <laughs> I failed my dreams. All right, Uncle Japanese Buck. police have finally arrested a long-sought-after thief long who sought dressed after. as a ninja during his burglaries. All right, so now you're starting to lead me down a path that I think is of false intent. So this guy just dressed as a ninja and stole stuff? Um, no, I don't think so. And I'll I explain. Say, Richard, I'll- I videotape myself making relations with my wife, and I tell you what, I'm not a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> she reminds me every day. <laughs> Um, he is 74. Authorities say they were surprised to learn the age of the thief who was apprehended after he didn't cover his face when a security camera was present and was oh. later caught in July. Yep. It's when you lack. So, you know, the police are sitting around. and It's like, oh, my God, the, the ninja. He accidentally left his mask off. Like now we get to see Gramps. <laughs> Wait, Grandpa. Then you go to his house and be like, Grandpa, this thing, this video shows you as the ninja. And he's like, no, it doesn't. And they're like, no, it's right here. And then he hits a smoke pellet and runs <laughs> off. And you're like, no, it's right. Oh, he got me. Grandpa, vanish. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. Grandpa's really good. You go to see him again. He's like, okay, Grandpa, listen, I got to take you in. He's like, all right, here, have a Werther's. Ninja star. <laughs> Ow. Oh. And then he runs off. Yeah. He's so well, fast. No, see, what happens is at first you go to, and he's got his walker and everything. And you're like, Grandpa, this says you're the ninja. And he's like, and he just picks up the walker and throws it at you and then runs off. Oh, yeah. And you're like, holy shit. Well, I was thinking the walker. It's all been a lie. <laughs> the walker turns into nunchucks. But that, oh, think of it, yes. If he's been stealing for that long, you're like, Grandpa, you could have gave better gifts, asshole. Yeah, or like one of uh, he like picks it up and like it turns into one of those like those like a uh, bow, those like three part stick. staffs. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be actually a lot badass. Those things are cool when you see people who know how to use those. Yeah. I don't. I just whack myself in the gym. I don't hurts. either. I like would nunchucks totally are like that too. They say that like nunchucks totally like, beat like, the shit out of myself. Not even meant for like actual martial arts like of the ninja turtles i think the bow and the the swords were the only two like the sai was more of a farming tool and the nunchucks i think was for like beating your kids when they weren't being good or something like that Mm. you beat your kids with nunchucks that's crazy i had i had a pair when i was when i was a kid and that was just like it was uh it was just like plastic pipe with like foam over it oh yeah and i would beat the shit out of myself with it. I'm like whipping it around. And even though it was like foam covered plastic, it still hurt a Aren't lot. Those illegal? I, I think it those... depends on where you live. Mm. I don't know if they're illegal, like federally, but yeah, this gets tired of kids whacking themselves in the head. Like go play football. Okay. Like a real American. <laughs> <laughs> so police now think he is the infamous. <gasps> He's Infamous. Oh shit, Richard. Does this guy have a name? Like an infamous name? Yes. He is the he they think he's the infamous Ninja of Hasai. Oh, Ninja of Hasai. That's a good name. Like that that's almost Who superhero-esque. Is, right? Look out, or the like ninja a folk of hero. Yeah. Like we have we have Johnny Appleseed and they have the ninja of Hasai. Yeah. And I want theirs. Because like I bet the ninja of Hasai could totally land. beat the shit. At a Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, they're like, before in this land, there were no cherry blossoms. And then the ninja of Asai came around and planted all the cherry blossoms. Yeah. And that's why and we stole all our Christmas. money. 
He's like, you owe me for this cherry blossom. You're like, I didn't even want it. <laughs> and he pulls out. He had a walker. And I'm like, it's cute, old man. But then he turned it into a nunchuck. Like, come to think of it, that tail kind of told us Why does the ninja need a was. walker? Wait. That's uh-huh. totally something you'd see in, like, one of those, uh, like, one of those, uh, like, old school karate movies. Like, an old dude. And then all of a sudden, he's just like, whoa. Oh, and, yeah. then, and then the walker, like, snaps into a fucking weapon. I never watched the ever loving shit out of you with it. I feel like I should have watched more of those old, like, are you talking about like the dubbed over where the, the mouth moves and it's like yeah, English? Yeah. Like Enter the Dragon and shit like that. Mm. I should watch more of those. You should. Enter the Dragon is a masterpiece because of the Bruce martial Lee's arts. Are amazing. Or, is it mostly the martial arts? Or well, the, the actual- martial arts, yeah. And Bruce Lee's in it, and Bruce Lee's amazing. I've seen some of his demonstrations. Like, there's videos of him on YouTube. I've watched him. That man is a phenomenon. Did you know that Chuck Norris killed him? Yeah, I did. No, I think that's a didn't myth, I tell I I told you that didn't I? I think so. Yeah, I think it's like a very like myth, urban legends. Like, yeah, that's not true. It's totally true. He did it. <laughs> did it on purpose too. Bastard. Chuck Norris killed him on purpose. Okay. I bet he did. Because he's like, I want to be Walker, Texas Ranger, not Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee was already doing shows. Chuck Norris was just some dude. Well, yeah, Bruce Lee was already, he was fucking Kato in the Green Hornet. He yeah. was hanging out with Batman. With Batman, Sean. And what was Chuck Norris doing? Bowflex What was he doing? I don't know fucking what he was doing. B-lister on bullshit movies. Yeah. Singing with the stars, whatever bullshit shows they had in the 70s. You know what? Fuck Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah. I've heard if you say that three times in a dark room, he shows up with a cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out of the mirror like the chick in the ring. <laughs> you just get a phone, a text that says he'll die in seven days. The rev of a Ford okay. truck in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Police think he's the infamous ninja of Hisai who is thought to have committed... More than 250 burglaries. Damn, Pops Over the busy. course of eight years. Damn, so that's what, 25 a year? It's two a month. That's pretty good. I mean, what do you do two times a month that would count for that? Masturbate. That's more than that. That's like two times a yeah, day. Yeah, that's more than that. I was being cons- I was being conservative. Yeah, well, if you start putting numbers to that, it's just going to get depressive. Really now quick. I shall be the masturbator of a side. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's only like once a day, sometimes twice a day. So let's say it's like 600 times a year. Uh, hey, Johnny Appleseed, plant this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my cherry blossom. Here's my seed. You what fucking you dick. After- <laughs> Where's that fucking ox at? Gonna wrangle me a little tornado, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to know. No. No, never. Um, investigators had failed to solve the mysterious case surrounding the series of break-ins that were carried out by a suspect in all black, like a ninja. They had always assumed that whoever it was would be much younger. Yeah, duh. Why would you put that in the story? Well, he said he was 74. We didn't think he'd be 74. Yeah, he would have been 66 when he started this. That we know of. Richard, this oh, could be like the story. shit. Yeah, those stories you hear about serial killers when they get caught. Like, well, we don't know how long he's been doing this. He could have been doing this since he was like 14. He's like 200 burglaries, more like. I didn't seven. start putting on the ninja outfit until much later. Oh, it's like that uh, Kevin Costner movie, Mr. Brooks. Have you ever seen that movie? I have, I've heard good things. Ooh, you need to see it. It is really good. Ryan Reynolds is in it too, isn't he? Who? Yeah, Dan, no, Dan Cook's in it. Who else did you say? Oh, Dane Cook. Yeah. Dane Cook's not very good in it, but everybody else is really good. Uh, I mean, but, yeah, is, what's like, Dane Cook good in? Like, before I was the thumbprint killer, I was somebody else, and I've killed a lot of people. You're like, oh, damn. Kevin Costner was not happy about Dances with Wolves, was he? <laughs> damn. See what happens when you make Postman? Yeah. You <laughs> win an Oscar and you only win one. How many has he won? Kevin Costner surely won a couple of them. Fuck fine, though. Well, yeah, what? Dances with Wolves, Field of Dreams. I mean, name like... And I'll, I'm going to take Robin Hood out of the equation. 
Because, like, Robin Hood was a good movie. Should Kevin Costner have been Robin Hood? I don't know. Uh, he's won two. He was won Best Picture, Best Director. I didn't realize he directed that movie. And Best Actor for Dance with Wolves. Well, he was nominated for Best Actor. He didn't win it. Oh, okay. How the heck can you get Best Picture, Best Director, but not Best Actor? Yeah, I don't know. That seems kind of silly. A little bit. Uh, after putting the thief on surveillance following his initial slip up in front of the security camera, police were able to track the suspect during the day. His behavior seemed different from a typical elderly man, but, but he did not commit any crimes when they were watching him. So it's just, you know, he went, God, how does it be on that stakeout? Like you're like you're tailing this fucking seventy four year old oh, man, yeah. and you're just waiting for the moment that he like, you know, fucking like chucks a throwing star at somebody or yeah. Well, I mean, you watch him, you just see like like tells the kids murders. to get off his lawn and then blows like a blow dart. Yeah, it's like get off my lawn, like whatever, old man. I said, get what off are you my gonna lawn. do about it? You see him, and shut he does off like a flip. Life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like the Japanese version of Gran Torino. I don't know if I want to see that movie or not. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Starring like, Jackie it, like, Chan. Fucking, like, the, like the kids are smashing up his car and then all of a sudden, you know what it is? It's like that movie, uh, uh, that fucking Jackie Chan movie, that, that most recent one, uh, The Equal Light. No. Oh, was what it was the, the last? One? He had one, the one where... where he's like old and yeah, well, I mean, they, he is older, but they uh, there's like a terrorist explosion that kills his daughter. That one. Yeah, yeah, that one was actually good. I don't remember what it's called, but that was actually really good. Yeah, he's like, listen, this is that dude. Yeah, good point. It is. I don't think I think if I was tailing him, I don't think that I could like keep it together. Like, I think at some point I'd have to run and be like, look, could you just like chuck a throwing star at somebody or. Like run up a wall or something cool, cause we know you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you see him go parkour, like like slowly moving his crutch, his uh walker. What do you think I was gonna do? I'm old. <laughs> I'm just an old man. Uh investigators said that he proceeded to enter an abandoned building and then change clothes waiting until dark before emerging to steal. God, you know this got this dude rock hard. He goes in that abandoned building, throws that on, I was like, I fucking live for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even stealing anything important. Oh my God. Oh, it makes me feel so alive. He was dressed in all black, just like a ninja. Investigators, holy shit. Investigators said that the thief was able to run on top of the walls. He was fucking Jackie Chan. He was. He's fucking too. He's he's getting that parkour. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's like all Matrix. Maybe said, this is Neo. Maybe this is what this is. They're like shooting at him. Freeze, fucker. It's like dodging bullets, flipping. Lands. He was able to I run on top of the walls with ease rather than in the streets. God, Richard, I'm only 33 and I can barely get out of bed with ease. And this dude's 74. I can't even climb on top of a wall, let alone run on it. I gotta do that like that like rock back thing to get out to get off of my couch. Yeah. It's probably not a good sign. Well, great. <laughs> so that's that's what this is. This is an intervention, and this is this is the basis of yep. comparison. Now, look, look, Richard. Um, we think you need to do something about your poor diet. Uh, because obviously, I mean, I've, you're not a ninja at seventy four. Have you heard of the seventy four year old ninja? That doesn't exist. Slide you a piece of paper with an article on it. Yeah. Huh. Fucking you, a YouTube clip of this of some seventy four year old running on top of a wall, dressed as a ninja. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that would be motivating though, because I'd be like, I want to do that. Yeah, I feel like that's I'd be something like, well, you don't he's just... in jail, but <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's something you don't just start doing at the age of like 45. Like, he's, I hope this story tells me he's been doing this since, like you said, like he's been a teenager. Um, so called Ninja FSI. 
who police said has been identified as Mitsuaki Tanagawa, is believed to have stolen almost. Okay, so this is in. Uh, yeah, this is in like British pounds because it's a BBC. I'm I'm looking at a at a at a British story. Um, so stolen almost two hundred thousand pounds worth of goods in less than a decade because he allegedly did not want to get a job. Oh, that's not too much. I mean, that's uh like two hundred and about two hundred fifty thousand. So a quarter of a million dollars. Quarter of a million dollars in eight years. I mean, that's not what is that? That's like thirty grand a year. I mean, that's I mean if he's old, he's retired, he might be getting a little bit of a pension. I'm not sure what Well uh, also like you're talking about like what, two hundred and fifty break ins. So thirty yeah. you know. So he's working th- you know, two nights a month, making yeah. uh about what, just over a grand a night. That's actually yeah, that's pretty good. I wonder what he's stealing. So he's yeah. So he's working twenty four nights a year. So less than a month. Yeah. And he's got a and he's got, you know, a thirty thousand dollar lifestyle. I wonder what does it say what he was stealing or just different goods and stuff and like so, did he uh, own it just a pawn says worth shop? of goods. Is that what it was? Did he own a pawn shop? He just used this to furnish his pawn Maybe. shop. Maybe. Well, no, because he said he didn't want to get a job. That's a good point. I always feel like going and doing things like this, like you do so much more work to not do work. Like you said, it was like, yeah, it's two nights a week, but you know, he took a lot of time like trying to find people to buy the stuff he was selling. Unless he yeah, to, like, see, uh, that's CD. that's where I feel like everything goes to hell. Is like it's not so much like the act of doing it; it's all the bullshit that comes after it. Like, oh, now I gotta f- you know find a place to sell it because I can't just put it on Etsy. You know, oh, I gotta you know do this and figure out this and make sure I cover my tracks here and can't yeah. like can't that's just to too. The same place that's where it gets time. to be. Um, Especially Hasai. now. Yeah, exactly. When, like, things can be, like, digitally tagged and tracked. And- yeah. I mean, you think, like, what, 40 years ago, if you bought, if you stole a bunch of jewelry, you could just melt it down and be like, hey, look, I found a gold block. I'm like, oh. Well, not even that. Like, me. You, you steal a bunch of jewelry, you drive, like, 20 miles in any direction and be like, hey, you want this? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. They're like, who are the Johnsons? I've never heard of them. And they're only, like, 15 miles away. Yeah. That's how that's the I, I'm sure I've said it before. That's the reason that like dudes like had like a second family going on in a town like 15 miles away that they carry on for fucking years. God, I don't I, man. Two families seems like a lot of work too. I don't know what you get out of that. Besides, right? I don't know. Oh, I'm going out of business on the weekends. Yeah. And you get to go home there, and she's like, you're never home, you son of a bitch. Take care of your kids. Oh, I'm going to be out on business for the week. Get to the other house. You yeah. thank God you're never home. Raise your kids, you son of a bitch. Why don't you come home on the weekends? Maybe I should start a third family. <laughs> <laughs> third time's the charm, right? I'm sure I'll get one right eventually. Maybe that's why they just drank a lot in the 50s. Ugh. Um... So he's called the the reason he's called the ninja of Hasai. Hasai isn't a place. Uh, Hasai is the name of the current era in Japan. Like the Edo era was the seventeenth, the end or the beginning of the seventeenth to the beginning of the nineteenth century. Oh, interesting. Is that so? Kind this of off is of the, the Hasai uh, era. Didn't that used to be what they do with like the empires, like the empire of whatever was kind of? Oh, that's they- China. Is like the China? Qing dynasty and yeah. 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 Okay. I didn't realize they did that in Japan like that. That's kind of cool. So would it be kind of like the decades? So like we just have like, we just in the States say like the two thousands, the nineties, the teens, but they actually give their decades a name. Yeah. I guess. Well, yeah, but in this case it's centuries. Oh, okay. Well, centuries seems too long. That should be decades. Oh man. And then the government could get, start getting it sponsored. So you have the decade of Pepsi. <laughs> The decade of this decade litter. brought to you by crisp, clear Mountain Dew. <laughs> well, and what happens is like the business goes out, like it's like stadium deals. So the business goes out of like the business folds like halfway through, and they have to change it. 
So it's like, this used to be U.S. Cellular Decade. Now it's Marble Light Decade. (laughs) (laughs) Images taken from CCTV footage show the pensioner dressed in from head to toe in black clothing, running along walls and squeezing through small gaps and buildings in an impressive in an impressive display of physical agility. Oh, it's that bone structure because he's low on calcium, so he can like shrink in like a snake. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God for my osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> uh Tangagawa, who was arrested for breaking into an electronics store in Osaka, Japan, allegedly told officers as he was taken to the police station, he was arrested and he said, I am defeated. Oh, he just gave in. Isn't that classy, though? Yeah. Like, oh. couldn't you like, I am defeated. Let's me take your or sword. Or maybe not. And- Ninja vanish. <laughs> <laughs> I will perform the ritual art of Bukaki. Wait, what? <laughs> I like, okay, so uh, quick side note, but the story I have here, they show a picture of a guy in a ninja outfit, and they say, the pensioner was allegedly dubbed the Ninja of Asai, and then in parentheses, stock picture. <laughs> well, that kind of takes the sting out of it. You know what? You know what that means? He was a real ninja. You know why? Because I haven't seen a photo of That's him true. yet. What would be funny is if they just used like a Ninja Turtle foot soldier picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was apprehended. Didn't cover his face by security camera. After putting the thief on surveillance, they were able to track the suspect during the day. Uh, let's see. He was arrested by prefectural police in Osaka after a series of 254 break-ins. That's a good chunk of break-ins. He was leaping fences. Apparently he's leaping fences, running along the tops of walls on the way to thefts. What's this dude's like diet Worth like? roughly 30 million yen, which equates to about $200,000. Yeah, I mean... Eight years, 30 grand a year kind of thing. It's not too bad. Uh, the uh, He used an abandoned apartment as his base of operations. That's where he hoarded all this stuff. Yeah, probably. But you're right. Like, where does he sell it? Does he, like, start up an Etsy store or? Yeah, eBay it. But, I mean, that's the thing, too, is, like, it's like, well, I've got this bracelet that says Janet, and I've got this bracelet that says Susan. I guess it probably would be an Etsy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. My wife's name's Barbara. Could you make a Barbara? It's like, uh, I could make a Susan or a <laughs> Janet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm thinking more Barbara. Could you could could I get one with Barbara? When you say Barbara, you mean Susan? Yeah. How do you spell Barbara? Is it the traditional S U S A N version, <laughs> or is, is that it, what or you're... is it the alternate J A N E T? Listen, I'm just going to send you the, the S-U-S-A-N one. I mean, I'll knock off 20%. <laughs> is this real gold? Sure is. That's a good point. You um, get a bracelet that's like worth 10 grand. You give it to your wife. And it's, it's the wrong name. She's like, what the fuck? You can't. Even. It's like, listen, babe, that's a 10 grand bracelet. Got it for 200 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. What? Do you, yeah. What's the response to that? I don't know. I mean, that'd be kind of like your wife getting you the wrong PlayStation thing. Like, you're like, you know, she gets you like this, like, extremely top of the line Xbox. You're like, well, I really wanted a PlayStation. Like, and then she's like, yeah, but I paid $10 for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. You're like, oh, well, guess I'm an Xbox guy now. Yeah. Okay. Can you get how'd more? You get <laughs> how'd you get it for 10 bucks? Uh, Etsy. <laughs> You can find so many good deals on that site. Who's making Xboxes on Etsy <laughs> and selling them for $10? It was some guy named Mr. Microsoft. <laughs> B.W. Microsoft Smith. <laughs> That's a guy with a monocle and a shirt that says Bill Gates on it. <laughs> I totally gave him a five star. Uh, Bill Gates is my father. <laughs> Please. 
Um, oh, when he uh, after he was arrested, he also said, "If I were younger, I wouldn't have been caught." Well, he's been doing it for what'd you say, eight years that they know of? Eight years. I feel like I do feel like there's like a prequel to this guy's story where he's like twenty some years old, robbing all these like Japanese banks and like making like fat bank. At this point, he's 74, and he had like, he's like, one more job. I just got to get one more in to get that fix. I love this shit. Yeah. And he screwed up. He slipped because he dropped. And honestly, the, the only reason he slipped, the only reason they caught him is because he left his face, yeah. like, like the, the little face mask thing came off. Or he, or yeah. he forgot oh, it. Yeah. He probably went to like the bathroom and like used it as a handkerchief. Cause you know, like all those old dudes have handkerchiefs. And so he blows his nose on his little mask and throws it in the trash and forgets about it. Yeah. And walked out. But it wasn't a handkerchief. <laughs> it was his mask. <laughs> it's true. Have you seen all those like older dudes? They all have handkerchiefs. Yeah. I feel like is that I feel like that's just a generational thing. No, like I don't see There's a lot of guys like getting into their 50s that like shouldn't have handkerchiefs that do. It's I think it's something when you get older you start giving less Fs. So you like, feel listen. so you think that when you turn when you get in like your late fifties, you're telling me you're gonna have like a handkerchief in one of your pockets? You know what? It's, like it's just gonna spontaneously grow there. Kind of. I think when you go get your license when you turn fifty, they just give you one. They just hand <laughs> you one. Yeah. You're like, I don't want this. It's like, but you can blow your nose wherever you want. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'll have a booger rag in my pocket. Yeah. Until you wash it. But what if like I'm walking around and some hot chick sees it? It's like, dude, you're 50. <laughs> Don't worry about Knock it. Knock it off. You're like, Don't oh, be obnoxious. Do I want a runny nose or not? And you take the knot. I have noticed. Did I tell you my I was like, story? well, I don't know if I... Wait, did you say anywhere I want? <laughs> I mean, it is washable. Like, and nobody's going to care? No, they're just like, oh, look at that old guy. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna be grossed out, but you're going to be like, I don't care. You're going to walk by and go... <laughs> and they're going to be like, did he just blow his nose and fart? You're not going to care. <laughs> yeah, what do you care? You're 55. Yeah. What are you going to do? Go get some hot tail. Yeah. And you know what? At this point, you're wearing suspenders. So who cares? That's and the then you're like, too. suspenders? Where did these come from? <laughs> All the shit just like starts growing on you like mold. <laughs> they do keep my pants up. Oh, man, they keep my shirt tucked in my underwear perfectly. Wait, when did I start this doing is, that? This is actually quite comfortable. I should have been doing this for years. Yeah. Why do I suddenly have the urge to eat? What time is it? Two o'clock. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to head to bed. What time is it? 6.30. Oh, man, it was a late one. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened to this guy. He he gets to the point where he's like, no suspenders, no handkerchief, only ninja. Yeah, he bucked the system. He bucked the yeah. trend. So speaking he's of like, I don't old. need your suspenders. Fuck your <laughs> suspenders. I'm putting on a ninja outfit. I'm going to farmer blow all over this town. <laughs> <laughs> So Richard, have you hit the point yet of you know speaking of old age where you kind of like don't care anymore? Oh, I hit that a while ago. Did you? I felt like I just hit that like a year or two ago. And the reason I found out about it. So speaking of getting old, I might have talked about this already. I don't remember, but uh, I haven't bought like new jeans in like seven years. Okay. Just because like I've taken care of them, I guess, and they haven't wore out, and I haven't gotten fat or anything, so I, I can wear the same size jeans. Yeah. But I had a bunch of them blow out at once, so I'm like, I got to get some new jeans. And I hate buying clothes. Buying clothes is horrible. I do, too. Not a fan. So I go into one store and tips with me, and I try some on, and they're kind of stretchy. I was like, oh, this is kind of nice. But I thought it was just the store. And so she's like, I don't like those on you. Let's go somewhere else. So we go somewhere else, and I try them on. And they were kind of stretchy, too. And I told her, I'm like, wow, these are stretchy here, too. This is really nice. And she's like, yeah, Sean, they've... They've been doing that for like five years. All pants are stretchy now. And at that moment. Wait a minute. Is that true? Yeah, it is. 
Really? Yeah, I didn't realize it. It's nice. It's really comfortable. So you're telling me I can go to the store right now and buy a pair of pants? Well, not Wranglers. And the whole... Wranglers won't be like that. Right. Okay. Okay. So I can go to the store and get a pair of pants, and I'll put them on, and the whole, like, waist area will be stretchy? No, no I mean, the actual, like, in your thighs, like, it, they use, like, cotton and something else, so, it, like... You like it when you're wearing jeans and you sh- like stretch to get in your vehicle, like it feels tight. Yeah, with the pants uh, technology they have now, like it stretches, so it's like uh, wearing sweatpants almost. How did they improve <laughs> pants? I don't know, but they did, Richard, like six years ago. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I know, right? I don't feel so bad now. I was telling somebody else this story just this past weekend, and because I told, I was starting to tell the story, and I was were like, were they younger I- than you? No, they were older than me too, which made me feel really bad. And I told, I said, like, I haven't bought new you know, new jeans in like four years. And Tiffany's like, hasn't it been longer than that? I was like, well, I didn't really want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I said the whole like, yeah, they were stretchy, and they're like, yeah, they've been doing that for like six years. It's like it blew my mind. Have you guys heard of indoor plumbing? That sounds wonderful. What do they do with shirts? Have they improved shirts? Uh, there's some, uh, like dry fit shirts that are nice. Like I bought like some like white socks and, uh, baseball shirts and those are all a lot more comfortable now too. What about underwear? Did they fix underwear? So I stopped prematurely ejaculating. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> oh, cause that cotton just feels so amazing. Oh. Babe, I'm ready. Oh, well, I mean, never mind. I meant like for my f- friend who's. Old. <laughs> well, again, I think that's the point where, like, you get old enough, you're just like, I don't even care. Like, I'm done. I'll I'm finish satisfied. first. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> like, wh- oh, oh, I see how it is, Richard. Every night, oh, I got my jollies. Now I'm ready for bed. When's it gonna be my time? When's it gonna be? And you just go, Ninja, vanish. <laughs> <laughs> Was that so a you bag trip of flour? over your own clothes? Yeah. Like you was, hit the smoke bomb and then you trip over your pants? Fall down. I'll it's just, a vanish. <laughs> I'll just lay here. <laughs> was that a bag of flour? I can yes. see you. No, you can't. <laughs> Ninja hide too well. <laughs> oh. Uh, he said, I wouldn't have been caught. Oh, if I were younger, I wouldn't have been caught. I'll quit now as I'm 74 and old enough. He's like, hey, just for the record, if I was like 20 years younger, we wouldn't be having this conversation. You know what I'd be doing? Being a ninja. Yeah. I would have ninja starred you and hid your body. Nobody would be the wiser. Yep. God. And they'd be like, hey, hey, where's Dave? I don't know. I mean, at that point, too, you're 74. I mean, it seems like he's in really good shape. Like, he's going to go to jail and, like, own that prison. Yeah, he is. He's going to go to jail and he's going to start like lifting weights. Yeah. He's going to be like no. doing backflips and shit. Just think he shows up in there and like some dude like starts hustling. He's like, hey, what's up, fresh fish? Look at this. We got some old fish over here. Hey, what up? And guess what? Whack, quack, quack. Exploding death heart punch. <laughs> it's going to be like Ip Man. He's like, hey, Tim, take six steps and guess what? Your heart's going to explode. Walks away. <laughs> six steps. <laughs> That's how you earn respect. First day. That's true. You're not wrong. Police have struggled to catch an extremely nimble and elusive cat burglar. All they knew was he's, he was dressed in all black from head to toe and could hop a fence and run away like he was carried by the wind. Damn. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's pretty poetic. I'm, I'm looking at like four or five different stories just to see if there was anything that I missed. Uh, it was July when the Hassan Ninja targeted an electronic store and stole $238 in cash after removing the bars on the window and sneaking in. How did he get the bars off? I don't know. Um, if you if you also want to hear about an old guy doing something awesome, uh, I also have a 63-year-old fisherman that fights off a bear. With karate. What is the same dude? I feel like this is the same dude just like 10 years ago. It's the same guy. (laughs) (laughs) I 
also go by Mr. Hasai. <laughs> a man from Nagahora was fishing uh, at the Jizu River when a six foot tall Asian black bear pounced at the man when they locked eyes. While this would have normally would be a recipe for something tragic, the man happened to be a high ranking practitioner of karate. Apparently famous enough in his hometown that he wished to remain anonymous. But if they're like, hey, this guy's really good at karate, but we can't tell you his name because then people will, will know who he is. Wouldn't people just be like, well, it's probably just it's Bill because he's really good at karate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, steeled in strength by karate, the man was able to strike the bear repeatedly in the eyes until it ran in retreat. So he got the bear to retreat. He I've did. heard if you scream he- at the bear, sometimes they'll eat you anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> he just three stooged it. He just uh, the bear was so strong. He told reporters just by leaping at me, it almost knocked me over. I thought I was going to die, but I poked it in the eye and turned ar- and it turned around and ran away. Oh, you know what he did when, and that's around. when I put my thumb in its ass because yeah, that's what you're supposed right. to do. Yep. Whenever if you're getting attacked by anything, <laughs> no, that's not what it. That's not what he did. I made that whole bit up. Stick the old thumb in the butt. That's what you do if you get bit, if you're getting attacked by a dog, or a shark, or a bear. You stick your thumb up its bum. And it's going to be like, you know, hey, you're not fa- fighting fair. Sean, I love you very much. But honestly, there is a part of me that wishes you were ever uh, that you would ever be attacked by a dog. Because I want I want to hear a story of somebody that tries this and sit <laughs> just just to know if it works. Well, that's the thing. So that's going to be the last story of language of bruins. We're like, all right, guys, like this tale's sad. But it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to start this off. I'm Richard, and this is Sean, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> We're going to fight a dog by putting our thumb in its ass. No, I was saying, like, <laughs> I get attacked by a dog or a bear. And the story is, like, you just come on the show by yourself. And the story is, like, so, Sean, here's the story. Sean was being attacked by a bear, and instead of fleeing, he decided to stick its thumb up its butt. Uh, spoiler alert, it didn't retreat. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you could tell at this point that uh, now there's just one of us. So while the man suffered scratches and bruises, he was able to drive himself to the hospital shortly after the bear encounter. Nice. So he fought the bear, then got in the car and drove himself to the hospital. He's like, hello, I've been attacked by a bear. And they're like, no, that's not true because you're still in one piece and you have not been eaten at all. And he's like, no, it's okay. I poked it in the eye and then I wet my thumb and chanted in his ass, and then oh. it ran away. And they're like, does that work? And he was like, absolutely. You should try it. And the nurse was like, no, I don't think so. Let's sit you down. You might have a concussion. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'll attack you. Rawr. He's like, oh God. <laughs> and he's like, Hey, I'm not a bear. That felt oh, lovely. <laughs> Looks like it works. Uh, with more frequent reports of bear signs, officials encourage locals not to imitate the karate fisherman's her- combat heroics, saying, if you see a bear, don't engage it. Walk away quietly and please report it to authorities. Well, what don't if, fight the bear. What if you uh, you and the bear hit it off and you want to get engaged with it? Well, I think that's up to the. I think that's up to whether or not the bear wants to give consent, Sean. Well, I mean, first you'd want to ask the bear's parents. I mean, obviously, if you're traditional, obviously, you'd say, "Hey, mother bear, father bear, I've fallen <laughs> hey, in love." Hey, mother bear. <laughs> and then if mo- if father bear gets aggressive with you, you go, <laughs> "I'm marrying your daughter, bear." And then mother bear says, "Hey, that's my job." <laughs> and then father bear's like, "Oh." oh. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. (laughs) He puts, he takes off his glasses and pulls out his pipe. (laughs) And he says, listen here. I like the cut of your jib. Margaret, the boy and I are going to go on a camping trip. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah. So, so that's all I have. Closing thought, I would say. Don't engage the bear, number one. Unless you get permission from the parents. Unless you get permission from the bear parents. 
Uh, number two is you're never too old to follow your dream. That's a good closing thought. And if your dream is to be a 74 year old ninja that can do flips and run on top of walls and be a badass parkour dude, then you should do that. I feel like we should come back to the story. It's been two years. You should do some more research to see if he's like released a memoir at this point. Cause I feel like this dude's got like a Jason Bourne esque. The movie with Jackie Chan you were asking about was called The Foreigner, which I could see him having like this being like The Foreigner, what it was based on. Like he was some Japanese spy or something like that. Like they're double yeah. seven. Yeah. But. All right. Well, as we're tidying up, I'll do a little bit of housekeeping. Visit our website. We're at languageofbronance.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at languageofbro. Email us at bros at languageofbronance.com. Like us on Facebook. Get your LLB merchandise at T Public by searching Language of Bromance. And you can always find us on the Pod Bros Network. The network where you're never too old to give it a listen. The network that doesn't have any ninja podcasts. Or does it? Oh. All right. Was there anything else? Spoiler alert, there's five. (laughs) You just don't know them. Yeah. You can't see them. But you can see all the pirate ones because they suck. Whatever. (laughs) All right. Was there anything else before I close her out? Um, We're kind of walking the plank at this point. All you got to do is eat an orange and scurvy's not a problem. Sea monsters don't eat oranges. All right. Well, that's all the bros we have for this show. I'm Sean. And I'm Richard. And remember, don't be a why. Be a a why not. not. Be a pirate. (laughs) (laughs) Be a pirate. Get off my podcast. Scurvy's not that big a deal.